This portion of the video is sponsored by URCDKey. URCDKey is an online web store that offers software keys and game keys in a very competitive price and without the hassle of going to a physical store. One of the most frequently used software keys is none other than a Windows 10 key and you can get a legit one from URCDKey for only 17 US dollars. But since you're awesome, you can also use my code BL20 to get an additional 20% off and get it for only 13 US dollars or around 700 pesos. You can purchase using your Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, and more. And once you get your key, they also have an instruction on how you can activate your software. So check the link below and don't forget to use our code for an extra discount. Thanks to URCD Key for sponsoring this part of the video. Hi Brawlies, Marvin here from TechBeerall.com where we do unboxings, reviews, and sexy B-rolls. And today, I just want to share a quick setup tour, an early 2020 setup tour, because I know a lot of you guys are currently working at home right now. So I just want to give you guys some inspiration and tips on how you can improve your setup and have a better overall experience when it comes to working at home and of course for gaming during after hours. After hours guys, huh? <laughs> now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to purchase or upgrade what's currently on your desk, but more of an idea on how you can improve your setup like organizing stuff and probably give you tips on what to get once the enhanced community quarantine is finally lifted so that you'll get excited about it. With that being said, let's get into it. Alright, so let's start here on the left side. As you can see, I have a few storage bins here and this is what I'm talking about when it comes to organizing your stuff. I use it to store my boxes, other peripherals, and things that I don't usually use on a daily basis. Now, I chose closed storage to keep dust away but if you want to showcase your things, then by any means use a shelf instead. Moving on right beside these bins, we have my game controller which is the EC SMX ESM9101. Now I also have the Thunder Robot G50 game controller which is a multi-platform controller and has a lot more features than this with Bluetooth connectivity but I chose to use this instead because it is easier to use. You just have to plug the USB dongle and you're good to go. You don't have to mess with pairing and stuff. We also have here one of the nodes of our Tenda Nova MW3 mesh Wi-Fi system that helps our internet connection get less congested and gives us a reliable reception all throughout the entire house. Aside from that, of course, I have a Hydro Flask right here to keep myself hydrated. That is important guys, especially with our weather here in the Philippines. Moving on to the actual desk setup itself, I actually just recently upgraded my table from a 120cm one to this 153cm, again from Miss Ivy Legaspi Katintig. The reason for the upgrade is that I want to have a little bit more space to work with, especially that I just recently purchased a pair of speakers. Speaking of speakers, what we have here is the Edifier R1280 dB Bluetooth speaker. Now, what I like about this is that aside from the amazing sound quality it can produce, it is also absolutely gorgeous as you can see here, with this gray and wooden colorway and the very good design in front that ultimately complements my desk setup here with this sort of wooden theme around it. This will set you back around 4,400 pesos, but if you're on a very tight budget, you can check out the previous speaker that I was using which is the Logitech Z120 series speakers that are only around less than 600 pesos. That is a good value for your money, guys. By the way, almost all of the things here on my desk, I already did a review that you can check out on this channel. Alright, so in terms of headphones, just in case you prefer working at home a little bit more discreet, I can definitely recommend the Cooler Master MH751. This is wired and also has a detachable microphone. And what I like about this is that it produces a well-balanced sound signature, that is very good for video editing and also gives you a bit of flexibility when it comes to further tuning. The detachable microphone is also honestly the best one that I've experienced so far in a gaming headset. Now, if you prefer wireless headphones, I can recommend the ASUS ROG Strix GO 2.4 because those headphones have a pretty good AI noise cancelling feature that is ideal for work from home environment, especially for video conferencing. And lastly, for audio, the microphone that I'm using right now is still the Boya PVM1000 shotgun mic. And for the most part, it is okay, but I am planning on upgrading this one really soon. A proper microphone is highly recommended for most work-from-home environment, especially if you frequently do video conferencing or any online communication. For the budget category, you can go with a BM800 condenser microphone, which is only around less than 600 pesos, and then pick up a phantom power to properly power the microphone for better audio quality. Personally, I'm using a Behringer UMC22 audio interface to power my microphone and also serves as an amplifier for my headphones. Aside from that, we also have here on my desk a Himalayan salt lamp which adds a little bit of ambient lighting and gives the overall desk setup a warm feeling alongside another lamp here on the right side. Now in terms of the main peripherals, what I have here is the Ultimate Hacking Keyboard and this one is obviously my favorite because it's unique 
ergonomic, and aside from the fact that it looks really good, it also packs a ton of features. It's quite expensive though for around 14,000 pesos just for the keyboard alone, but I think the form factor, features, and overall good experience it offers more than justifies the cost. But of course, for budget category, I can definitely recommend the Rack Lamang Pro because in my opinion, it is still the current bang for the buck mechanical keyboard out in the market right now, at least here in the Philippines. It features hot swappable board, interchangeable top cover, dual wired and wireless mode, and other features that are only available in some higher-end brands. And this one will set you back only around less than 3,500 pesos. Other alternatives are the Techware Phantom Elite with good build quality and a good selection of switches. And then for 60% form factor, I can recommend of course the Anpro 2. And for the extreme budget category, the Royal Clutch RK61 and its twin brother from another mother, the Maybenben ben the MK01. Now in addition, if you're looking for something that is silent and ideal for a work from home environment, I can recommend the ASUS ROG Strix Scope with silent red switches. Moving on to the mouse, what I have here is the Cooler Master MM711 Special Edition Red and Gold, but you can also get this in matte white or black. And what I like about this is that it is extremely lightweight at only around 60 grams, one of the lightest available gaming mouse out in the market right now. It is also quite comfortable and perfect for the size of my hands, and its overall performance with the reliable PMW3389 sensor makes it a no-brainer for me. But of course, experience will highly vary depending on your preference, the size of your hands, and your grip style. But in general, this one is my recommendation. Other options, especially for the budget category, are of course the Rack Captain for those people who prefer right-handed shape. And for those who like symmetrical shape, you can consider the Techwear XO Elite and the Fantic Hive UX2. All of these gaming mice that I've mentioned I already reviewed, which you can check out on our gaming mouse playlist here on the channel. And of course, for the productivity side of things for working at home, I can recommend the Logitech MX Master series like the Master 2S and the latest Master 3. Both are ergonomic with tons of buttons that you can configure for your work efficiency, but they are quite heavy and not ideal for gaming. Another option is the ASUS ROG Strix Carry if you prefer something small and handy, and if you go with a wireless mouse, you can also use it once you get back to work in the office. Now, one of the most important parts of your setup is of course your monitor. Like I always say, 90% of the time you are looking at your screen, so this is very important for your setup. And what we have here is the ASUS VG27AQ, which is another bang for the buck gaming monitor out in the market right now when it comes to features to price ratio because it has a very unique feature called ELMB Sync which only a few monitors have right now. It has an IPS panel with a very good color accuracy and has a very fast refresh rate of up to 165Hz and also has a relatively fast 1 millisecond response time and just overall this monitor is a good value for your money and I am really happy that I upgraded to this. Now you don't necessarily have to go with this, you can go for the more budget ones like the ASUS VG27 AQR or the even less expensive ASUS VP249 QGR which is only around 10,000 pesos or 200 US dollars, both of which I've already reviewed as well. And last but not the least, we have my new mini ITX build right here which I did a video about just a couple of weeks ago which you can check out here. It has an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X processor, an ASUS ROG Strix X470i gaming motherboard, an ASUS ROG Strix 2070 Super Graphics Card with 16GB XPG Spectrix D60G 3600 MHz RAM and a couple of XPG SX8200 Pro 512GB NVMe drives, all housed inside an Inwin A1 Mini ITX chassis. This tiny yet powerful beast right here is capable of 4K video editing and of course 1440p gaming at ultra settings. Again, you can check out my build video about it so that you'll see how it performs in both video editing and gaming. And in case you just recently built a PC as well, don't forget to check out our sponsor URCD Key for a Windows 10 Pro license. By the way, before I forgot, I also have an Oracle HDD docking station here with two 2TB hard drives for my raw files and other games. And that's about it guys for our quick setup tour. Like I said, you don't necessarily have to purchase or upgrade anything on your desk setup right now, especially during this crisis, but at least you have an idea on what else you can add or upgrade on your setup once the enhanced community quarantine is lifted. What you can do for now is just generally think of things that can improve your work and gaming efficiency like organizing your stuff and clean everything that you can so that it is a bit more pleasing in the eyes that when you wake up each morning, you are ready to take on the world right in the comfort of your home. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. I just want to remind you to set a mindset that you can also do what you can with what you have where you are. And it also doesn't mean that since we are currently locked down inside our home that we cannot enjoy the good things in life. We just have to set a proper mindset and attitude towards what's happening around us. Let us be responsible, resourceful, and do the best we can with our time indoors and get ready to bounce back once this pandemic is behind us. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you like this, and see you next time. Have a great day guys.